hold it probably till the eight second mark or so and then who knows exactly where they'll go this time they've gone down the middle they've gone to the right twice this is coffee he took the shot at the end of regulation and this is their shooter and he stepped out of bounds with 5.9 jacob wright foot went out of bounds that's the second time that has happened here in the overtimes where Wright has had the ball on that right side of the floor and his foot hits the sideline. We'll see if Shakopee can capitalize on this Hopkins mistake. And you're going to walk up. Whether you like the style or not, you're going to remember it. Oh, yeah. Here come the Sabres down low trying to go with that shot picked off by Chambers. And now he's got two seconds for Hopkins to have the basketball. Boy, they wanted to go with that lead pass and get that layup. And you can watch it again. Well, I don't have a problem with that play. I mean, that, that's not a bad look. Down by Mitchell. Just under threw it a little bit. Had that pass been on, Hagan had, a, had an open layup. Even though Chambers is a quick young guy, good defensive player, obviously. A heads up play by him. But if you pass the ball, that's another thing, too. If you pass the ball in in the backcourt, it takes up more time to get from se your 70 feet away from the basket. And plus, if you turn it over, now Hopkins has got a chance to get right to the rim. So I, I think that's a good play call there by Shakopee. Get the ball inbounds and then get it down the floor and try to attack. Inside the Hopkins huddle, figuring out their two-second strategy right here. There's a guy that's been leading the score tonight, Jacob Wright, but he hasn't hit a bucket in a long time because of the nature and the pace of our overtimes. It's been the fourth. <laughs> that's why nobody can make a shot here because everybody's cold. It's been so long since a field goal. Here's Amir Coffee from a long way. It's a 50-foot shot, Dave. Amir Coffee with a three-pointer to win it. His second field goal of the night. And now the yeah. officials are making a call. Are they not going to count it? I don't think they're going to count it, Kevin. Wow. They're having a conversation. Hopkins in the celebration. Let's see what the call is. Oh, they're going to replay it. That yeah. situation, right? Think that it's really close. And we had a good look at it. It's right in front of us. But, folks, that's a 50-foot shot, 50-foot-plus half-court heave from Amir Coffee. That's more than 50 feet. That's 55, 60-foot shot there. Wow. Crazy. Trying to get the clock. That's good. I think he got it off, yeah. He got it off. Yep, let's see what the call is. Should that's, be good. That's, yep. Game that's good. is over. Hopkins is going to win this on Amir Coffey's three-pointer from 50-plus. It's good. Wow. Game wow. over. Hopkins into the state championship game in the fourth overtime. Wow. Boy, that's going to be, that's going to go down into state tournament lore. Just like Blake Hoffarber from his buns, from his buttocks, making that shot a number of years ago. Amir Coffey as a sophomore. That's close to a 60-foot shot. He'll wow. never, ever forget that one. Our player of the game is brought to you by Perkins, putting it all on the table. Well, I, hard to guess what the play of the game might be. Here it is. Boy. That's close to 60 feet. All string. Wow. Look at that shot. Just got it off in time. Boom. Chambers and was stunned just standing there watching it. Our play of the game brought to you by Polymet Mining, working on a plan to mine the copper, nickel, and other essential metals that make this broadcast possible. Learn more at polymetmining.com. Well, here's your player of the game, Tory Holt. I don't even know where to start here. There's so many storylines to this one. You got to take me through that shot.
shot. That was well beyond 50 feet. You get the ball. Take me through it, the game winner. Oh, uh, well, you know, we got to add uh, the end court. There's not much you can do. Just throw, it, throw up a prayer, and I'm glad I made it. What's the emotion watching that thing go out of your hands? Just hope and praying to God. Praying to God. So it goes, you win, but take me back before that. Your guys, your your strategy to stall, what was the talk on the bench going into that as uh, you guys had to battle through that and wait and hold and wait and hold and finally came through? Well, what we were doing is just uh, hold it down to like 10, 7 seconds and just have one shot. So uh, we were the only opportunity to score and, uh, you know, went through four overtimes, but we got it. How tough of a battle was this? How, how great of an opponent was Shakopee in this one and now you're in the state title? That's a great team. That's a great team. Uh, you know, they uh, really slowed, slowed the pace down. And, uh, it's a low-scoring game, but uh, it's a great team, and uh, I have fun out there. Hopkins haven't been in the title game in a couple of years now after winning three consecutive. What does it mean for you to now take this team into the state championship? It means the world. It means the world. How about with your father here watching? Richard over there. I saw him running around. Uh, we'll definitely have a talk about that tonight. <laughs> Congratulations, Amir. Thank you. Well, an overwhelmed Amir Coffee right now. That was a big one. Even shook my hand there. He's fired up. Coming up next, I, I don't need, even know if you dream about making that shot, if you even think it's possible. Let's see. At the end of regulation, they run a play and can't get a shot to go down from 10 feet or 8 feet. Do the same thing in the second, first overtime. Don't get a shot in the third overtime. Okay, folks, it's four overtimes. It's time to drop a play, make a 60-footer. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get it done and go to the state championship game. Amir wow. Coffee had two points in the game. He's kind of the guy they all look at. He averages 15 a game. He's a sophomore, and he doesn't score until the end on a 50 to 60 foot shot to send his team to the state title.